Alrighty, hi everyone, I'm Blaze here, gonna be doing, again, Convelius in two days. I like to show off some of the big items that I've gotten in the previous expansion and my plans for the next. So let's take a look at what I got. So, uh, the only, I really haven't gotten any major things um, in Velius, I mean in Kunark, for that matter. I mean, I got this from Plane of Sky, which is okay. Um, of course, I got the Epic is big. The instruments I am using at the current point in time being these. Just, uh, I don't need a loot because the epic, I mean I don't need a wind instrument because the epic functions as that. Um, any other items that I got? So, got the singing steel helm which is huge. I is um. I also have the over there hammer. Single steel bracer for shield to flame and get to 47 damage shield by myself. This for levitate, although I don't need it anymore. And then I don't have a. I'm waiting to get a uh, load as all shell shield. I'm gonna have to show that off. That's pretty much all the gear in terms of what I have now. Nothing really all that special, to be honest. Well, this is also pretty big. The Goblin Gazuki ring. I spent a lot of money on that one. Helps for instant charm breaks. But uh, let's take a look at the hands that I have come this expansion. So let me make sure it's still going. Yep. Okay, so the plans that I have in this expansion. Let's do P99, Load is all Shell Shield. And as well as P99 Blue Diamond Bellium Bracelet. Okay, so the plans I... Oh, there's one more. Bracer of Benevolence. Okay. So my plans for this expansion are... This is from the Scout Roll. This is the best in slot Bracer for as far as I'm concerned for Bards. So I'm definitely going to try to get this. I'm not sure how it runs here on live, but on P99 there's something called a scout roll. But it keeps it quite civil. I don't know if it's going to be a free-for-all on live. And I don't know if it's a 10-hour respawn on scout Curtis. So we'll see. I don't know how it's going to go. Um, I'm probably going to have this made in the first day if I can. These are pretty huge resist bracelets. So I've been saving up blue diamonds for this. Uh, resists are huge in Vilius rating content. There's AoEs left and right, so you really need them. And uh, speaking of resist items, this is a really great resist item. Lotus All Shell Shield. As a bard, haste doesn't matter so much, so it actually helps me more to have this in my back slot than, say, like a Cloak of Flames. And the reason why is look at these resists 10 magic, 20 coal, 20 fire. That's the big ones you need. Absolutely, those are the big ones you absolutely need. And uh, what's also nice about it is the Enduring Breath, permanent. So in the future, say, killing um, some zones in Luklin or say doing Kedge Keep or any of these underwater zones, it helps out tremendously. They don't have to worry about that. And really great on resist. It's a really great back item. Um, the next thing I'm probably going to do... I'm hoping to get this. I am hoping to get this. Unfortunately, I don't think I can really use it. Because there might be a better item to equip. But it would be amazing to be a barbarian bard. <laughs> and it gives the ability to slam. That's really cool. But it's a really difficult raid content. Um, Avatar of War is one of the hardest mobs in... Yeah, the mother of all tank and spank fights. Despawns it for one hour. Depop if aggroed. These cold lures don't matter. bother with magic or fire. They don't seem to land. Or Orbo Rattlosec. That's not a bad bow. Elmo Rattlosec. That's an amazing helm. Blade of Carnage. That's best in slot. Warriors. Bards can use it? Really? 
Ooh, that's a nice ring. Best in slot for monks, I imagine, and that. Hopefully, hopefully. One million hit points. Hits like a truck. Six attacks per round. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> what a beast. Okay, um... Next thing, let's take a look at some of the spells that come out. So one of the cool things about Velius is if you're a lower level bard, they give you a uh, mana regeneration song a lot quicker that replaces Hymn of Restoration. Um, they give you this, which is a pretty uh, okay um, rune spell, I guess. I don't know how much it goes up to with this with the stringed instrument equipped, but that's an okay rune. Uh, there's some overhaste that you can get with melody of Ravage and composition of Ravage. I'm not sure if they're really worth using though, we'll see. I don't know, maybe if I was in a pure haste group, I mean a pure uh, melee group, I'd want to run it. Some You get some big disciplines that come out, so actually I'm going to go out and actually buy some disciplines now for, for Aeonic. And this, because you get Death Dance, which is frontal unity, basically. You can get a couple seconds where you can't get hit from the front. And then Pure Tone, which is an instrument modified modifier. Makes every single instrument be the best. Um, I don't know if this is actually dropped. This would likely be the replacement for can Cantata of. No, okay. Yeah, I have you have to wait till Lucan to get that, most likely. Okay, and then the other big one that I'm going to try to get, to be honest, is this is the biggest one that I really want to get. Illusion of Sound. It's an unresistible debuff. You have to have a percussion instrument equipped, I believe. But it's an unresistible debuff. It's huge for raids. It helps everybody start landing their stuff immediately. Um. So yeah, you'll want to use this in conjunction with Fufu's Curtailing Chant. That'll lower magic resist huge. Mallow Tash and most stuff will land if needed. Other stuff I'm looking at getting: uh, Water Elemental Illusion and the Nereid Shell, uh, which is a uh, um, water breathing. It gives you water enduring breath, um, which is very useful. Ex and the extra charisma if you need. I think it's best in slot for enchanters, but uh, I just more want it for the illusion because it looks cool. Lucha the Howler off in Velkators. So uh, Nereus Shawl from Siren's Grotto and Lucha the Howler from Velkators. And this. Hmm. Not bad gear. Fighter for a cloak. Yeah. Um, what this does, it actually gives you pretty decent haste, and it gives you some strength. 40% haste, 30 strength, boost your attack. Pretty nice uh, if you need some extra haste. In that regard, I mean, it makes the... And it compensates. I think there's still a haste cap of like 200%. Or you can only go up to about 200%, but... So, that's nice. It's a great thing to go run around with Karanas and scaring the crap out of noobs. It's pretty fun. Um, and then Flowing Thought items. This is the big stuff I'm going to focus on. There seems to only be Flowing Thought 1 items that bars can get, even though there's stuff that goes up to 5. But these are all for other casters. 2, 3, and 5 seem to only be for casters. So Flowing Thought items that are in Velius that I'm aware of. So the Rune Coldane Prayer Shawls. I'm gonna be. I've leveled up a lot of my trade skills for that. Um, none of these other things I can equip, except for the Eye of Kazakh Thule on face. So, um, in Velius, there's a revamp of the loot tables for Plane of Fear, and it makes it so that the minis can drop this stuff. So definitely, Eye of Kazakh Thule. I'm gonna try to get that on Ionic as well as. You can even get a buckler. Huh. Didn't know. So, probably the best in slot shield. And then I'm going to try to get this for range slot. 
this uh, minus 25 charisma, whatever. It's the flowing thought is huge. So I think at maximum I could get three extra tick per mana if I had all those items. And that would be big, so I'll have four ticks of mana, which will make uh, downtime significantly less. Let me get a calculator out. So let's say it takes 60 mana to get one charm. And let's divide that by, uh, if I had at most, three extra flowing thought items. So it'll be four mana per tick. So it'd take 15 ticks and 15 times four seconds per tick. About a minute. It'd take about one minute to get enough mana back do a charm, which is very small downtime, to be honest, very small downtime, that's actually, that would make charm kiting, get practically charm fight at infinitum, and then the last thing, um, there's, there's other stuff, but I'm not too familiar with it, there's other gear that's best in slot, alias rating, like, all this stuff, But I'm not so concerned about it. Oh, well, there's the ring quest. Hmm. How hard is it to do the ring quest? Oh, some of it's trade skilled. I'm pretty high in trade skilling. Okay, I might try to do the ring quest too. So that's a really nice buff. Um, anything else, really? I mean, yeah, this is more specialty stuff from like North TOV. To be honest, yeah. Yeah, this stuff's nice. Anyways, um, what I'm gonna really focus on though is getting these uh, specialty class armor sets for Aeonic. So Resonance the worst here, Troubadour and Twilight, so Kale and Shry Sh Sky Shrine armor about equivalent. Melodic is not, it's like better than Resonant but not as good as Kale and Sky Shrine. I think Troubadour armor favors stats and AC and Twilight armor favors resists. Um, so I think I'm going to go with Twilight, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Twilight armor. So, that's the plan. It's the absolute plan. But I wouldn't be mad if I got either, to be honest. It's better than anything I got on right now. So, alrighty, that's all for this particular video. So thank you guys all for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.